for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Eight of Wands and it's with the Page of Cups. Now, the Eight of Wands, it's showing that there could have been a lot of things up in the air. You probably were frustrated, tired of waiting, but this card, it indicates that you would have needed to be patient a while longer. Yeah, you probably had done all that you could do and decisions, they need to be, they need to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead, but don't try to force things. And I say this because if you try to force it, it's likely to backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there. See where it lands. You've put your best out there. Now you just have to wait. So, Eight of Wands is with the Page of Cups, which is showing a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When you get this card in a reading, it can mean that you've been taking yourself way too serious. There was a poet or a writer that once said, the one important thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself serious. Now the first is imperative and the second would be a disaster. So basically Aquarius, recent past energy between you and your person, we got this eight of wands clarified by the page of cups. So I'm getting that for a lot of you. There was a lot of back and forth communication between you and your person. Some of you, your person lived long distance. So a lot of talk, a lot of text. You were waiting to hear back from them. They were waiting to hear back from you. And when you two, when you two did get together, boy, was it a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You see the Page of Cups? That's the card below the word pass. You see how they're hanging out at the park, hanging loose. They're halfway naked. They're turning up the bottle. Just a good old time. Yeah. That was for some of you. Aquarius, now for, for others, you probably, um, like I said, some of you were in communication, and then some of you were waiting on this communication so that um, you could hook up with your person. So it's, a, it's kind of the same, waiting, you were either waiting for communication so that you two could have get together and hook up. But for most of you, there was a lot of communication back and forth. And sometimes you had to wait and wait and wait. But um, when you two did finally get together, it was all about having a good time. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah. That's a recent past energy between you and your person. Now let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Death card and the Eight of Pentacles. Now keep in mind this Death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will and such things are not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. 
could be that some situations, things, and people that you had counted on or had gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now the transition, it can be very difficult for some people. Even though the change is nearly always needed. So, death card is paired with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. You got a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is important. So, make sure you don't let it work for its own sake because that can be counterproductive. You want to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time. But the Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period. And that doesn't have to be negative, but you have to be prepared for it. Yeah, so, yep, that's what this man is doing in the picture. It kind of speaks for itself and the Eight of Pentacles is the card below the word present. There's this man working. It looks like he probably started early morning. And it's going into nighttime. And he's still not stopping. Yeah, he's continuing all through the night. And on top of that, it's raining. I don't know if you can see the raindrops, but they're huge. So it's a hard work period, this Eight of Pentacles. So, like I said, coming up Aquarius, the death card clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. So, basically what I'm getting is that yeah, your person who you had, who you you're used to having a lot of fun with and a lot of communication back and forth. Like I said, maybe this person lived long distance. Or maybe they did not live long distance, but wow, you two did a lot of communication. A lot of communicating. And when you two got together, like I said, you, you, you always made sure you had a good time. So, coming up though... Hmm, it looks like your person is going to be busy. Yeah. Yeah, a person's going to be real busy. Looks like they're trying to make a lot of money. Because I'm looking at what he's doing. Yeah, those when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money. Cash, coins, finance income. So your person's going to be really busy. And because it's with a death card, it's going to feel like, it's going to feel like to you that they've lost interest. Yeah, you're going to think that they're ending this with you. But it looks like they're, they're going through a very hard work period. Very hard. Like maybe your person is picking up two or three jobs. Yeah, so looks like the good times might be over, at least coming up. Yeah, so you you're gonna think that you're you're gonna feel like your person is ending this with you, and that they've lost interest, because I don't I don't feel that that communication is gonna be the same. I don't think it's going to be that often. Not with that. Not with this kind of work, heavy work period like this. But let's get some more clarity and let's see. Let's see what the challenge brings. So we got the Page of Wands and it's with the Queen of Cups. Now the Page of Wands, they can be warm, ambitious, high achievers, and if this is not actual person it does indicate the energy of easy distraction so it's about trying to stay focused this card can indicate that things you started some time ago 
they could start to come to fruition, start to come to life. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page does bring a positive energy, but because of its easy energy of easy distraction, you have to supply the follow through. Now, Page of Wands is with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups it indicates a woman. She will be helpful to you. She'll remind you to bring love and compassion to all aspects of your life, of your world, of your work. And that's even possible even if you work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. So things are probably better in your world, your working world, when you get this card in a reading. Better than you're realizing. Yeah, because it, whenever you see the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in your reading, it's all about love, compassion. Yeah, those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. Queen and King of Cups. It's all about love, compassion, being helpful. So, what I'm getting, Aquarius, the challenge page of wands clarified by the Queen of Cups. I'm getting that for a lot of you. Hmm. It looks like your person, you'll be reaching out to your person. Yeah, you're going to reach out because the Page of Wands, they reach out. They send messages. They, they contact the person by text, message, or some kind of way. Page of Wands, and it talks about love and relationships. It's about messages of love and affection. That's coming your way. So you're reaching out to your person. Yeah, you feel that they've lost interest. Yeah, you're trying to contact your person. And that's you down there, Aquarius, the Queen of Cups. You want to offer a cup of love. You're trying to figure out what happened. The two of you were having a darn good time just recently. And so many times before. So you're trying to holler at your person with messages of love and affection. Yeah, you could be younger than your person. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that means youth, student, immaturity, or just someone younger. So for a lot of you, you're younger than your person. It could be by a few days, a few years. But yeah, you're trying to find your person. You're, you're at the park, looking through the trees, talking to the birds. Have you seen them? <laughs> yeah, you're trying to find your person, but your person went to work. Yeah, you know those, those checks that the government was cutting for a lot of people. A lot of people aren't getting them anymore. So your, your person realized it's time to go to work and make some money. So, yeah, your person is going going into overdrive with work. They're having a hard, well, a heavy work period. A heavy workload. And you're thinking that they've lost interest. So, you'll be trying to reach your person. Offering a cup of love and shouting out with messages of love and affection. Um, that's kind of cute. <laughs> anyway, let's see what the outcome is. The outcome, we got the Six of Swords. And it's paired with the Knight of Cups. Now, the Six of Swords, swords the picture actually, it speaks for itself. 
Yeah, so if you look at the picture of the Six of Swords, it's a card above the word outcome. Yeah, you see how these two people, they're in a boat or a canoe or whatever that is. It looks like they just got out of raging waters. Some kind of storm that they just left behind. So now the waters are still. And they're sailing right along. And it's smooth. So this Six of Swords is about resolution. Probably recovery. Yeah, it's about moving into calmer waters. So... That's a Six of Swords. Yep. No more drama. No more chaos. It's, about, it's just about smooth sailing. Now it's with the Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups is very optimistic. It's a good card to see in a reading. This one often comes with messages. And usually they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. The Knight of Cups, it tells you that Things are going to be going really well. So, you're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. This card, it often means good news when it comes to matters of the heart. Yep, Aquarius, it's likely to be headed your way really soon. Okay, so the outcome, Six of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Cups. So yeah, you it looks like Aquarius, you found your person. And they were at work. And they're probably telling you that they're working really hard. And that's what it looks like they looks like they're doing. So you find your person and they're happy to hear from you. Really happy. Cause they they come rushing in. Wanting to be romantic and sensitive. And you're wanting to offer your cup of love. So, you two get together again, just like you used to. <laughs> this is kind of cute. You two get together again like you used to. And, um, yeah, there's no more thinking that your person has lost interest. Yeah, you two, you're in smooth sailing coming up really smooth so the death card no longer exists you can toss that out the window so that's really cute it's romantic because i like that you 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 try to find your person you find him and he's busy really working you find out he's got three or four or five jobs like i said a lot of people aren't getting those checks that they were getting a few weeks ago. So you're really, your person realized they need to make money. You know, you guys can't hang out like you used to. You gotta have money to do that, so. Yeah, so the outcome is beautiful. You offer your cup of love. And he comes rushing in when he hears from you. Or she. Come rushing in. <laughs> He's got he's got a cup of love in his hand too. I don't know if you can see the Knight of Cups, but yeah, they they do come rushing in, being romantic and sensitive. Yeah, and the two of you are at are at peace. So, Aquarius, I like this reading for you. It's really cute. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? So, Aquarius, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. 
and strong during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. And we'll all get through this. So like I said, stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and check out the next Aquarius reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this didn't resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with uh, a love interest, your person could actually be a friend, it could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So take the reading for however it resonates, because these are general readings. They're not personal reading, so take it for however it resonates. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching.